Hi everyone, today is July 14th, um, Thursday. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, Bastille Festival, which is basically um, means Bastille Day in France. So a bit of a background of Bastille Festival. Bastille Day is the common name in English-speaking countries such as Australia to the National Day of France, which is celebrated on July 14th each year. Um, it's because, um, I mean, the French National Day or the um, Bastille Day is the anniversary of storming of the Bastille on um, July 14th, um, 1789, which is how many years ago? 233 years ago. So on July 14th, 1789, 233 years ago, there is there was the storming of the Bastille, which is a major event of the French Revolution, as well as the Fête de la Fédération, which celebrated the unity of the French people next year, 1790, July 14th. And then um, celebrations were held throughout France. One which has been reported as the oldest and the largest military parade in Europe is held on every year, um, July 14th, such as today, on the Champ Elysees, hopefully I pronounce French correctly, in Paris, in front of the President of the Republic, along with other French officials and maybe like foreign guests, especially now in the midst of COVID-19, I mean to live with COVID-19 when um, border restrictions ease. So that's the background of the Bastille Day, the um, Bastille uh, Festival. In here, in Sydney context, it will be the, I mean, to this this year is the eighth um, Bastille Festival um, anniversary, where the French re um, returning to the Custom House um, forecourt as a cultural celebration of food, wine, and art. Well, not only food, w wine, and art, but also you know um, music. So this year, 2022, is the eighth. Um, Bastille Festival um, anniversary. The past two years um, were cancelled, 2020 and 2021, because you know of COVID-19. I did um, attend the Bastille Festival uh, three years ago in 2019. So again, today, July 14th, um, Thursday, is the um, Bastille um, Festival, the eighth one in um, Sydney context. And it's not only one day as to celebrate um, France um, National Day culturally, I mean, in not only with food, wine and art and music, and it's not going to be a today only, well today at the time of filming is already on the way from 12pm to 10pm, for the coming um, three days, Friday um, July 15th, it's 10am to 11pm, Saturday July 16th, 10am also to 11 p.m. and also Sunday July 17th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So today 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. Friday 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. also Saturday 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. and also finally Sunday 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. in Sydney Custom House Forecourt which is the closest station it's um circular key. Well I'm not I'm gonna go today because tomorrow, July 15th and Friday, I'm gonna go um, with my friend. So I will guide you guys, um, let you guys see um, how the um, um, Bastille uh, Festival is like in terms of, you know, food, wine, like eat and drink, I said eat and drink, and also, you know, music, that kind of stuff. I will try to let you guys see um, as much um, as I can. And I will see you tomorrow, Bastille Festival at Custom House Forecourt around Circular Key. So it's few minutes past six at night on June 15th, Friday. I'm now already at this um, Circular Key. As you can probably see the Sydney Harbour Bridge. If you take the train, well, I did take the train, or you take the ferry from the wharf, or if you take the bus, or the um, light rail that's where you get off at circular key and um, that is where the main thing the Bastille festival is um, outside the um, customs um, house so it's basically um, 
the opposite side of you know the rocks, Harbour Bridge, and also um, Opera House, opposite the, of the rocks, Harbour Bridge, and Opera House of um, Circular Quay. And as you can see, those white stuff are already um, the Bastille Festival, the venue um, outside um, Custom House. And without further ado, I will head inside with my friend to let you guys see more about that. So first stop, um, we are waiting for the um, melted Nutella crate. Not sure if I pronounce correctly in French. As you can see, it's quite busy. Several people are um, making a um, different crate or also a um, galette. There are different um, flavors as well for you to choose, but we will get the melted Nutella. And outside looks like this. No one actually perform live music, it's just the broad broadcasted music over there. As you can see, Friday night, quite a lot of people. That's the Circle Key Station, where I came from. Quite a lot of people. Let's wait for a few more moments and we'll get our melted um, Nutella. Oh, no, melted Nutella. Yeah. Well, yes, the melted Nutella crate. Next to the crate, uh, we, the second thing we got is the um, Savoyard um, hot dog. We um, get the um, bottom flavor, the raised flavor. Not sure if I pronounce it correctly. It mentioned it's Kransky sausage, melted cheese, and also French pickles. And if you like, which we would, you can get a mustard, a BBQ, mayo and ketchup sauces for you to enhance the taste of the um, hot dog. And for us, you know, for the maximum um, enjoyment of flavor, we're going to get the all four um, of them, which is mustard, BBQ, mayo and ketchup. And apart from live music, I mean, there's not no live music, but there are some people um, doing some um, live dancing. <laughs> Third stop, it's Icy um, Ses Paris. Not sure if I pronounce correctly in French, but basically we are gonna get the, because my friend and I, gonna get the classic uh, mussels um, and chips, as you can see, coated in white wine sauce and herb. They are basically two pots, some. Um, two pots um, doing the um, mussels with um, wine sauce and also a herb. If you can see a bit closer, just now they put a second pot over here. That's the um, original pot, the first pot. Then there is another pot doing um, the um, chips. So we're gonna got the classic mussels and chips with the um, white wine sauce and also herbs as, as you can see and also um, chips which we will get later on as we as we will serve again the classic um, mussels and chips in this um, icy ses parties. Okay, the fourth stop is the French fusion good not cheese. Not sure if I pronounce correctly, I'm brothers. So there are basically three flavors as you can see. The left hand side is the traditional slow bolognese. Middle one is the wild mushroom and truffle sauce and the right hand side is the spicy cherry tomato and black olive and my friend and I we got the left hand side this one the gnocchi with traditional slow cooked bolognese and a bit of actual um, live dancing as well well I mean just Around Latin America. Of course, what you saw there was a little bit of Latin America. Stop number five. French inspired tacos at Meraki Eat. So, here, as you can see, there are several well, one, two, three, four, um, five, um, five types of tacos if you can choose. We, I mean, my friend and I got the confit de canard, lobster thermidor, and also truffle um, champion because combination, right? Combination 
combination of its sub cheaper. And as you can see, if we have ordered those three types of tacos separately, that would have been $22.50, but with the combination, that's only um, $21. So actually, we save um, $1.50. Cheers for the mood wine, not for the cocktail. Yay. Okay, we are almost um, through now, and then my friend and I got um, a macaron as well. You can order a um, macaron, I guess, for two, for six, or for twelve but we got six in total because we are already full enough after um, previous um, eats and drinks, some savory and some sweet. He got three, I got three as well, so that's um, six half a dozen um, in total. I will put um, what exactly the flavors are in the description down below, or you can refer to my um, Facebook and also Instagram stories and posts that I already um, upload them earlier so that you can refer to but now without further ado let's enjoy our um, uh, macaron as our final bits of the Bastille um, festival here in um, customs house in circular key bon appetit okay i'm finally back home so a bit of a correction just now when i was um, early in the circular key. Today is actually July, not June 15th. Today is July 15th, um, Friday. And just now I spent um, with my friend uh, Tom at um, circular key, the custom house to hang around to, you know, have some um, sweet and savory um, eat and drink in, for the Bastille Festival to celebrate the National Day um, of France. But here in Sydney, Australia, you know, as a um, cultural... Um, culturalism, not culturalism, I mean, you know, um, cultural um, diversity here in, in this country. So um, what we thought about the food is, well, he thought, uh, my friend Tom thought, um, he liked um, the tacos um, the most because um, I guess with the um, combination, you can um, save, um, you know, dollars. So as mentioned earlier, we, if we ordered those three um, um combination i mean those three individual um, flavor of taco which is i forgot the exact name but you can see it in the description down below but from my memory is the um, duck meat and uh truffle whatever and also the uh, lobster uh, thermidor those three but if you order by themselves it would have been 22 dollars and 50 but if you order like the combination which is the three um flavors of your choice which is off our choice is only $21. So we um, say uh, $1.50, but actually the taste is um, pretty um, good as well. For me, I like the, um, not sure if I pronounce correctly, ganache, the flavor, the ganache with the um, slow cooked um, bolognese, because you, there is some um, pepper, should be a black pepper inside the ganache, inside the sauce to um, give some um, mild spiciness the spiciness is not that strong it's just mild but it's you know really um spot on enough to enhance the taste of the gnocchi which is uh, pretty good especially um after we had the um um the, the cr um, tra um traditional or forgot the um the mussels with the chips because it's quite um creamy uh, in the white wine sauce because there is some cheese in there but unfortunately um comparatively tom um, my friend tom and i also um i mean believe um the um mussels with chips it's kind of um not that good or if you guys haven't been to before we would not um, recommend because um well although it's like served with chips mussels and chips one thing, there's um, not enough chips. They don't serve really much chips. And also some of the um, mussels they serve, it's already like, you know, broken, broken in terms of shell or there is um, not, not actual, like the edible 
um, muscles apart. It's mainly some muscle and it costs like $23, as you can see on my Facebook and Instagram stories and posts, $23 fucking dollars, mm. I mean Australian dollars, for the muscles and chips, whereas the um, Binocci is just $14 and the tacos, the combination three ingredient tacos, it's um, $21. Or even though you, you order those three alacate, like $22.50, would have been, it's still cheaper than the $23 muscles and chips. Yes, so that's um, how we thought. And also, it's not only about food and drink, but also um, some um, music, um, some dance, and also some um, boutique um, handcraft, if you, if you like to buy about um, French um, culture, um, art, um, design or you know music um, technology or um, everything so that's the end i mean how my friend and i spent um this day july july 15th and friday in um customs house circular key to for the bastille festival to celebrate the national day of france as again it's a really convenient to get to um, circular key by public transport you can get um by bus you can get um, train, you can get a light rail. Well, light rail is a bit um, new because they just extended the L2 and L3 to Cyclicky from Central. Um, I think in the first, I forgot which month, but around the first quarter of 2020 when COVID-19 started to begin. They, I mean, L2, L3 from Cyclicky goes to Central and then also all the way to um, uh, Randwick and also ju Junior Kingsford, which is pretty close to the University of New South Wales, UNSW. Okay, anyway, so you can, yes, go to Circular Quay by public transport, by bus, train, light rail, and also ferry on the opposite side of Circular Quay and railway station. Depends on where you live. I live in Epping, so I change trains um, and then get to um, Circular Quay. So does my friend Tom, who lives somewhere near Hurstville, but you know, down south, but we take public transit, we take trains, we change trains, and then we get to Circle Key, and also like on the way back home. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Remember, it's not it's not over yet, this Bastille Festival. Yesterday, July 14th, today, July 15th, Thursday, Friday. And also tomorrow, by the time sh this video should have been uploaded, July 16th, um, Saturday, yes, and also Sunday, the last day, July 17th, um, Sunday. So yesterday already, July 14th, four, uh, Thursday, today, July 15th, Friday, tomorrow, July 16th, Saturday, and also final day, July 17th, um, Sunday. Note, um, there are some differences in terms of opening hours, so be sure to follow um, the um, Bastille Festivals or website or, you know, social media, Facebook, Instagram, etc., so that you won't um, miss out on the information about how, you know, how to enjoy um, the Bastille Festival at your convenience or at the best at your pace, whatever. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the video, like the content or, you know, how I introduce the Bastille Festival. Although not in France, but um, I mean, like in, to celebrate culturally here in Sydney, Australia by not only liking this video, but also sub subscribing to this channel and follow my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, I, and Twitter. I update them regularly so um, you guys won't miss out my content. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good night and see ya.